Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy already. Today we're gonna go over my Audi A3. I'm gonna be replacing the alternator and showing you how to access the battery. Let's get into the video. To access the battery, you're going to need to go through the trunk and remove all the covers to get to the battery. Then remove this foam section. Then you're going to need your 12 point Allen key set. Start removing this cover to expose the battery. Then go ahead and remove the cover. Then remove only the positive side on the battery. First step, you're going to need a spanner or socket or a wrench to fit on the tensioner pulley so that this way you could actually remove the belt. Right here, this tensioner has a little bit of a age to it, so it's a little hard to become undone. So I'm just testing it out and right here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the belt. When I remove the belt, there's a little slot that you see right here where you could actually install a pin, but I used a Allen key wrench to actually hold the tensioner pulley into place. So so it's easier to remove the belt and install the belt. Now to access the alternator, you're going to need to remove the AC compressor. Go ahead and disconnect the AC compressor connector and then remove the three bolts that's holding in the AC compressor. Now when removing this, be careful because you don't want the compressor to come down and hit you in the face. I'd recommend that you use a strap or a zip tie to hold the compressor out of your way so that this way it's not hanging in front of you while you're working. Right away when I'm about to remove the bolt, I noticed that the bolt that's holding the positive cable to the back of the alternator was really rusted right here that it is not supposed to look like that. And if you see your bolt looking like this, that means that it's arcing. That means that it's not tightened all the way. And if you see right here, you can see that the bolt is actually not holding the wire at all. And that is what was causing the issue why this car was not charging. When the car is at idle, everything works perfectly fine. But the moment when you start driving the car and the vibration, now this is sparking in the back of it and causing the car not to charge the way it's supposed to. To get to this bolt on the alternator, you're going to need to remove this pulley on the bracket for the alternator. Space is very limited in this area, so you just gotta work very patiently. Now that the pulley is off, you could access this bolt now. Now to remove the bolt on the top side of the alternator, the tensioner pulley is gonna be in the way. Like I said before in all my other videos, you're going to need a 12 point Allen key for working on an Audi vehicle because without this tool or this kit, it's impossible to work on an Audi. Now put the socket on the pulley and turn it out of its holding place. Now you can see it's just a little dowel on the back of the tensioner pulley that was holding it in place. And now you can go ahead and remove that bolt for the alternator. Wrapping the terminal for the battery is a good practice, even though the battery is off. 
Remove the bolt for the alternator and then slide the alternator forward with the bolt in it still and then slide the bolt back into it so this way it's easier to remove. Now here you have it. This is what was happening. And you can see that this contact right here on the alternator is no longer good. And it was actually burning the alternator casing as well. So this alternator is no longer is good. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a newer one. Now this is a OEM refurbished alternator that I got from Advanced Auto. And you could tell how new it looks. You know, it's a CarQuest brand, so you already know it's Ivan's Auto or CarQuest, and it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the contact right here, the bolt off the contact, sorry. So this way, I could actually go ahead and install the wire for the battery. But you can see, everything is looking good, and that's how it's supposed to be. Now you can go ahead and start reassembling everything back together, starting with the alternator, pushing it up just like this. So that this way it's easier to get it all installed. Now remember it's going to be the bolts without the washers, this one in my right hand. So this way you don't mix up the other three bolts that goes for the AC compressor. No, do not worry about the gap that you see how it's moving around right now because once you start to tighten it up, there's going to be some little dowels inside of the alternator that's going to come in contact with the bracket so this way everything will be tight. Now this is that shiny dowel that I'm talking about. Once the bolt goes through, it will draw it in to actually make contact to the bracket so nothing moves. Once all that is done, go ahead and connect the wires for the alternator. Once your alternator and your AC compressor is back in, go ahead and connect back the battery. Yes. So you're probably wondering why do I have this tail light here. So I have a pair of tail lights and this is from my 2006 to 2010 Scient TC. So I plan on giving away this pair of tail lights once I get to a thousand subscribers. I will make this more engaging, make the channel more engaging. I have a lot of parts, a lot of spare parts in my garage that I am not going to be using, but instead of selling them, I'm going to actually give them back to you as my subscribers. All you got to do to enter to win this um, TC tail light, just subscribe. Subscribe and leave a comment in the, in the description or in the comment section, sorry. Leave a comment at the bottom and like the video and share it. And as I see the engagement and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to pick someone randomly on a TC video because this is a TC part. So I'm gonna keep it like that. So because the TC part, I'm gonna pick a random commenter in the bottom of one of those videos and I'm gonna give it, give this away to one of you guys. All you have to do is leave a comment and like and subscribe to the channel. And once I get to a thousand subscribers, I will basically pick one of you guys and I will definitely ship this pair of headlights out to you so i hope this video helped and this is what i'm gonna do basically doing like i'm not gonna be selling the parts if i see it's a good part that i'm just replacing upgrading i will be giving away these parts as i set goals for you guys to help me with and as you help me with those goals i will give away a part and after so right now the part that i'm gonna be giving away once i hit the thousand subscribers is a pair of taillights for 2006 and 2010 Scient TC. So I hope this video helped. I hope you guys are excited just as I am. And 
Um, if any questions, leave them on the bottom. And what parts and what video you want to see next. I'm going to do my best of dropping a video every week. Uh, because right now, you got to understand, like, I do still work. I don't, I'm not free. <laughs> like everyone else, every other YouTuber, I have to work, pay bills, build these cars, replace parts, take care of my house, take care of business obligations and family at the same time. So it's the only one guy doing all of this and I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. And also basically, as you guys help me to get to this goal, I will give back to you guys. So all you have to do is subscribe and like and leave a comment and share the bottom of each one of the videos as to I get to a thousand subscribers. And as promised, once I get to a thousand subscribers, you can hit me up in the bottom like, hey man, you hit the thousand subscribers. When, the, and then, when is the light going up for sale? Or, sorry, go for sale. When are you giving away the prize? And the next video I drop would be me picking out one of you guys from the comment section to give away these tail lights. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this makes it more exciting and more engaging. And uh, leave a comment at the bottom from what you want to see, any other questions you have, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it. Let's go.